briefly, it is now get six days because today is any day you come out to work. Pay. If you work for two, three days, you can just pay. Same thing. Then, if you was to do maybe six days, I have a discount of about 30 percent discount. If you have a big discount, I have a big discount. Then, if you want to do more, you pay for each of two days. But it's still not recovered from 30 or 31 or 69 days that the case may be. But if it's two days, and there's also a discount of 35% for you. So just like the one part we said, I don't want to mention that. Why would you rather buy because Why would you rather take the best of it? Which will give you less amount, less stress, and also discount. And you have the comfort of driving across, I mean for across all the transport. Uh, Operators, uh, operators, have the comfort of running your business and in that case. Then we also have the USSD module. So, yes, have the USSD module. So and it's across all the parts. So the, 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 the USSD module is just uh, three plus star, three, three, uh, star, three plus zero star. Then you put your bank code. So you put your bank code first, 731 or 770. Okay, okay, thank you. You know, I have a very lovely voice. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Just like yours. <laughs> so, if you if you do the your bank code, for example, like your, if you want to drive, you want to pay for the uh, first bank, it's a uh, star 894 star. Then you put triple zero, 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 zero. Then so that is, you, now you have that pay account number. Because during the point of enumeration, we have tied your segments, we tied your route, we type your vehicle type, if it's a cab, if it's a bus, we type it there. You have the cable, you have the passengers, different amounts. Then we'll type the frequency of your payment, if it's weekly, or daily, you have to pay for it. But it's also, it's flexible, it's also modified. Then, if you put that your code, that your other pay code, you put hash. If you, if you, if you invoke that uh, menu, it will lead you to your bank uh, uh environment. Then you make your payment. And what is that will ask you that you want to pay 300 naira for, or you want to make a payment of 300 naira? That shows that you chose daily payment and you're a care man, and you're a care passenger uh, carrier. So we have this service. I will be pushing this service out, but you know, people will definitely take what they want to take. The truth of matter is that our people always want to find a way to convert the process or not of the process. But that's why we're not coming on hard to them. Our, our concern is to have the best and the, the best and the, I don't know, the, the, the most exceptional radio new generating processes. You know, when the thing gets interesting, we see the people just join into it. Without we forgetting that we are working on making sure that people enjoy fast so that they can give us more money to do more. Thank you. Additional, additional, additional. Now, um, based on what my colleague said, we are in the same class. Yes. yes. And uh, also what he said, we can incentivize the coding of our production. Yes. We have been working for the last 19 years to make sure we're able to gather accurate data of our production per day. Yes. Normally we have said only one week we produce more than one million pages. Mm -hmm. But it's far higher than that because it is not properly collected. Mm -hmm. Now, if we kind of uh, incentivize production. Yes. Every pro every producer, whatever you produce, in each one pay, you bring out 50 naira. And that 50 naira, they, 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 they generate a code. That code will be managed by the IDR department and us. We sit down, get all these codes. All the products that are living our back must have a code. Yes. I'm a producer, I have my factory. All my, if I produce, 1,000 pages. All my 1,000 pages will have my company code and then the each product code, which is which will be uh, for a, my personal company and other company will have theirs. Yes, yes. With this, you need to know the quantity we produce per week. Yes. And mind you, there are two types of production we do. Okay. There's one that is regular sold in the market. Yes. There's the one that we sold, we sell auction. And that same option goes back to the market. Yes, yes. The one that is properly recorded is one that moves from the manufacturer to the open market. Now, when we do this, 
what I'm, I'm suggesting, uh, in addition to what I said, we sit down, work at the modalities, work at the modalities, and make it a seamless uh, process, uh, process yes. that nobody will compare. Yes. But at the end of the day, we get what we want. We are, we are disturbed that we cannot provide the quantity of products we produce to our region, even by day. I'm working with uh, CBN and other organizations to bring out a seamless form of uh, soft lending to our people because it is always safe and people don't, don't pay back. But there's a problem in our lending. When you lend to an individual without recourse to the leadership, the person will be, will be very tough and greater than you. Than you. Than you. But when you work with the leadership, the, and the interest you also have to drop. Single digit. Single digit. So, um, this idea, at the end of this meeting, invite us. Let's see. I'm coming to you. I'll come to you on Monday. Yes, Let's uh, go I'm happy to, to work with you. And also in production with the two that are coming. So, thank you. Thank you. Okay. You said, so where's the, where's the, we have the first question of the Yes, I bought, he bought his land, sold to his brother, or oh, maybe so. Is that the situation still bad? We don't sell land. We don't register land. We don't survey land. So, but I have uh, of MBA, a bar, branch, chairman here. He will tell me what to do when you want to transfer title. What we do is this, you do it wrongly, and you come to us, you know what I'm telling you. So, there, let's talk My name is Carlos uh, I'm the chairman of the Europe Association of our branch. My name is my way of uh, contribution to the discussion. Um, our problem, or the problem of doing business, is not a uh, liberal framework. As um, we heard from the chief magistrate in our midst here, uh, he respectfully read out uh, so many laws, so many provisions of us that uh, have provided for ease of doing business, including the time frame. Uh, and the only thing that is not a societal problem which has not been addressed. That threat is corruption. Trying to do it, corruption is malignant, actually making it difficult to do business. Laws are there that provide for fast tracking of doing so many things. We have uh, laws that, that are provided that the matter can be spent with two months. But in reality, when you could approach that system,
and the, the, the matter will be completed. But this fire to communicate the God, Pastor Popox, it hasn't even left um, the temple. That is a serious um, to the provisions
to go regard to the legislation that was deemed in my name, they transferred to him as he goes. Because I have seen a similar case where we bought the land and the land was fully registered. And uh, when we went for the registration, they say that that land was registered in the name of the next person. But because we have done change of ownership, we must register it again. Is it true of us? If it's true, what can we do in that aspect? That is number one. Uh, uh, another question I have to throw is our guy, the moderator, said that uh, he added infrastructure and security to the discussion of this to be this of doing business in other states. And uh, I've discovered for a very long time and in here that uh, so 80% of our discussion here is a hammering on SMEs. Do not consider the micro, the MSMEs. The MSMEs who are doing business here, I'm coming from Leader Works, precisely in the Leader Works. I want to talk in the area of power. Please, you can tell me to me that over 30,000 generators still need the same time. And people in that place are using it to work. Yes, none of them can be. And uh, is that not inclusive in the use of the business? There is no power. Last time in the pursuit of getting this thing done, I was opportune to reach uh, geometry powers. And uh, they said, I don't know, but we should uh, find out that geometry is there to generate power, share power, and supply power. And the one of the major raw materials they are required to do their job is always a gas bearing plant. All they need, they have done everything necessary. All they need is to open the map and that gas bearing that is wasting away just flow to them. They start using it with the red power, supply power, and sell power. My question is, what is he holding it? Why is it that geometric and those parts have not been open for them to give power to other states? So that it will ease businesses. I want to put it because that if that oh, far is open for them to get that uh, energy, the power they will supply will even try to cover about 10 to 12, 15 local governments in the United States. And they constrain also the people, volumes, thousands of people, thousands of generators at the same time for us to do businesses in about one transformer, two transformers in each of these uh, clusters could solve that problem and the production the production at the uh, output would be increased. So I really want us to look into that as a bit of ease of doing business. Thank you. Thank you for giving me the time. Um, we have worked so much on land. For them, the micro, small, and medium enterprises, nobody has said anything about it. My name remains K. Anyam, National Secretary of Nale, uh, CEO of Connex Hall, and Managing Director of the Sun and Um My first question goes directly to trade and investment. Ministry. We have a lot of issues. I'm a human manufacturer by profession. We have a lot of issues concerning industrial waste in Aba, and nobody is talking about that. It's a, it's a problem. It's a hazard to our health. So I would want the industrial department of uh, trade and investment to look into ways where we can discuss industrial management as. Uh, industrial waste management as it regards to shoe production. Because our raw materials are different, they are important, they are petrochemical raw materials. When you play them, it generates a lot of smoke that is injurious to health. That's number one. Secondly, I will discuss, I want to also discuss with the digital 
economy and the SME. During your presentation, it wasn't possible, we could not get what you said. But then, I want to make this case clear. The digital economy, the trade and investment should work assiduously with the manufacturers in our part. There are a lot of issues ongoing now. You can recall our, the, the, the Naira is running more than uh, or, or both in exchange. And then when you go to a market, buy a product, the raw material today to produce, before you get back next week, the price has changed. And all the importers, there's a certain amount of money they pay to government as part of the IGR. And after paying that money, some 20,000 for, for one uh, 20 big container and thereabout. I don't know the exact amount. But after paying this money, they will throw it back to the manufacturers. We who are the buyers. So when after our production, prices of our products can no longer meet or the buyers can no longer buy. And we're having a lot of issues. Buyers are no more coming. The foreign made products that were imported from China are cheaper than our products. And we are here discussing ease of doing business. This is a petty production of leather and leather goods in our back. If we don't say do anything about this, a lot of people will be thrown into the uh, unemployment market. Please, or the labor market, please, we need to discuss this. If it amounts to setting up a committee, let's set up a committee that will look into all these issues. Nobody is discussing about our problems. But we are the major bedrock of SME. They say about the SME capital of Nigeria. But nobody is talking about us. Please, we need something to be done. Thank you. Coming to other states, 
we have a lot of fund, we have a lot of funding, we have a lot of money to take, and those money are buried inside. And these are the core idea that we need to accelerate. So by arrival to the states, we need to look at things, you know, and see what can happen. That's what we do. We have not talked about what has happened in the past. So we have to put the framework in place to see how we can do that. Bringing it down to ease of doing business. You know, because if um, somebody needs to be charged multiple in terms of uh, whatever needs to bring to the states or what you need to bring to the states, it becomes a uh, uh, incentive to business growth in the economy. So we are now trying to make sure that every business entity, individual, um, uh, individual household, you know, using the management economics model to make sure that whatever it needs to contribute gets into the government cost. So we are not doing any upward review of what we pay, but we need to do modification, reducing some, uh, moderating some, and also making sure we formalize some of these payments in order to also sacrifice uh, any cost. So we need that. One of the flashy things we have in mind is to have a joint single account. First of all, for our receipts, which is all these taxes, all that kind of revenue, these taxes, and other payments that we need to pay. So, the way that how we need to run the TSA process is something that we have to put thought through and now come up with a concept. So, in every task we have in the state uh, must be deliberated, so must be deliberated. So, if we start you, we now have your record. So, with that record, we are trying to block those. So we also believe that we should have a good and best of care, but those are most of the problems that we have in various systems. So it's a substantial problem, and somebody can say it's not true, that union organizations make business is but it's not a difficult for today, it's a happy next time, when the price is to win. So um, in all three days, we also want to ensure that each of the traders in the market, each of the businesses on the street, each of the Okada Rider, each of the person living that a the woman finding a car somewhere also contributes what he or she needs to contribute because the state is also looking at giving us the level of uh, incentive in terms of many facilities to people to run business. So as we did that, we also pay the commission and also contribute in what is called that. One of the criteria that we give that lengthy is that we we'll show the evidence of that payment. Even the presumptive that we we'll pay something. That would advise you to bring to that end. So, by the period when we are doing the test of integration, which is the other state's uh, social um, identification number, asset number, which is that's the year that is the first one. So, when we we'll put everybody into the system, because well, the process increases every day. Between um, August and today, we launched our other main um, flash product for revenue collection. We're able to, to generate more than 13,000 apps. So this was happened in a few months. Unlike what has happened for the past three, four, five years, where the system has done about 27,000 records. So you see, there is a process and it's people to do that. So all of us are doing that. We allow people to also generate this apps by themselves. You know, before that process of getting by themselves also, but now we now have to ignite and make simplify the process so people can easily do it. The businessman needs to pay for that certification, you know, the main one you need to pay for the market of those the And you also register uh, to have a fair ID. And just log into a fleet and generate their asset as a pay for payments. And payment process is made easier that you have multiple payment options. So that when you want to pay payments, uh, you don't want to pay your you also make them. And not just that, we also discover the dichotomy in the revenue profession in the state. So what we need to have another idea is making sure that every Ministry, agencies, and departments that has revenue in their uh, revenue heads in their ministry and their agencies is important to be put on revenue administration so that they take ownership of those processes and there's a paradoxical process for calling that services. So the other pay was not actually not possible. Another pay is recording a lot of uh, success factors and other state models have become important that people want to do for what we need. Two, three weeks ago, when I was in Abuja talking about what we have done, or what I know, what I've done before, and what we are doing right there in the state. People have discovered that most of the charity to have a revenue collection identify this as much as possible. Because if I have my asset number, 
now in the United States. It's difficult to, to request you to pay something less than ten dollars. If I pay for that, my data is going to affect the system. That we're breaching that data uh, pay, that's our, uh, sorry, past pay and data collection. Then aside that, for the informal sector, because that's where the trend of the economy is, that's where the money is coming from. So we are now also doing an onboarding process for them, creating a unique account number for them to pay their payments, which is at their pay account ID. So for every time you do any kind of a uh, liberation. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, then, okay, then we'll members of the panel, well done for the good job you so far. Let me also thank the group of panel for having uh, established with them. I need to sit on this and stand on this. But I need to do that when I need stand on this. I will be very strong, so that's all for Okay, so uh, I think that I'm listening to the question around land and social system. This has been a very major challenge in the ease of doing business. There's a popular saying that say the Asota and So this is important when comes to do business. The one of the major factors of production when we are doing elementary commerce and business is uh, the land. Um, for that, things will happen at all factors of production. It's still on the business because then there was no technology. That will have technology. Now we don't have dollars. We have my power of this as well. So um, this has been a major problem everywhere. The language system in the I think that is in this part of the world has really affected business operations. Um, but land acquisition on its own is a very major uh, process that needs to be refined, you know. Uh, after modifying, we need to refine this and make it as simple as possible. So that's the dichotomy between the ownership of the land and the, uh, only the, the, uh, the private ownership of the land, then the, uh, the merchant of the land, then go down to, to the, the third part of the social development that will use the land also further from the process of land transfer. It becomes a challenge. So what happens, for example, what I notice in many places is that if I acquire a land from one of the chiefs here, so the organization is done by the family, and then the community tells me to come and see them. So I do those processes. So after that process, I go to the local government or the state government, I document that land process. If you have a very detailed and efficient geographic information system for land, so you do that and it's captured and it's blocked. That land is actually doing by hand. So when the Polina wants to buy the land to build an NGO, she buys the land somewhere. She also needs to go and do some level of uh, validation and also presentation, also change of the power of the other process. During that process, the community contact and say, this is our land. That is the world. So it's the complex of the problems. That's not the best place. So, truly speaking, uh, in this part of the world, the land acquisition has always been a major, major problem. So, it's not, it's not something that can be handled with kids' gloves. It's something that the constitution itself needs to provide an enabling law that will drive land administration process. Probably would have to say, let's categorize land according to ownership. This land and community based ownership. And the community, there should be no conflict between the family and the community. So, not when I'm after my land, I get a monitor is for me. They will not tell that I'm to pay something. But coming back to the process of uh, discussing that process and administration and the government parts using technology and things, it's very essential for a system to also put into consideration what should be the right way of doing things. So if you're moving land administration as part of piece of this business, let it be legislated. Let us know that if your business, if your business is what's driven by the world global agency and the address of this. And there should be, it should be double size as a major thing in every state government administrative or governance processes. So that if you have anybody driving this of business, the process around land administration for the sake of the business 
upon it. Well, anyway, you have a lot of business. If you're doing farming, agriculture, if you're also doing uh, housing, it's also part of uh, business of it. So if you be able to do that, that's the inspection we're going to man carry the process of land administration, acquisition, and transfer. And it makes it easier for us. Then the responsibility of who um, gives that power to that land to belong to me or to anybody, it also be accepted. If we're saying it's the commissioner for that, we are saying it has to be a permanent secretary in that in case when there's no commissioner. If I want to say it has to be the um, the person leading the piece of doing business, that means we must not criticize the leadership of either leaders in the state. So in so doing, we now realize that are we do we want the municipal appointee to, to have it, or do we want the statutory appointee to be heading that processes? So the word uh, the word uh, organizations like the yeah, UNDP also need to also monitor that processes and also make it a very serious DLI in making sure that they say it's right. Then if we're not saying we have to now make sure it's the government, and yes, some funny stories sometimes that it takes um, an average of one word to get the sale of the world. It takes an average of uh, two weeks. It takes 48 hours. Who says it doesn't take seconds to print 2,000 sale of It's simple technology now. Simple technology. If I can, if I can do a, sh a, sh a, a, a schedule using an Excel, have like 1,000 payment beneficiaries, I can't know that I'm not going to I will just click in one system, upload it, click on submit, say it goes and hits my account and begin to wire money to different accounts. I can't really process something that's a closed system. Like, there's nothing that make a lot of sense to me. We are moving to the stage where you don't need signature to start the process. Yes. Where, am I, where I'm coming from, my background is in banking. So if we do an approval and send to your line for my son, or EG, or whatever it is on the empty, that it just goes, you know, that email trail is what approved as recommended, or okay to proceed, or okay to deal. Then that same email you're seeing has also been stored in the cloud somewhere. And class thought that thing. And those data cannot also be refreshed, can also be lost, because there are layers of storage processes. So we can begin to look at our additional processes. Who do you give the power to do this? Who can do this? Then we shouldn't give the government to sign those up. Even the text officer cannot even sign all those things and be comfortable in that job. As that goes on, it becomes a corrosion. And the person might think of doing something else. By the time we try to leave, after all the things we understand about the processes, there's going to increase of level of gap. Then there are also a system failure and how to now refresh the process. So, in some what I'm trying to say is that we should look at how to reduce all the bottlenecks around the community based construction in terms of land. I'm happy to have the next in there. I must give it to the rest of this program. You guys have done well. Then the government part of it, then the, uh, the UNGPs, then also the NGOs. For most times, the NGOs are the ones that try these processes. They are the ones that write all these uh, petitions. In the civil sector organizations, but those things they write, thinking they are going in that way in favor of people, can actually be counterproductive to the people that also want to access all of these services. So it's important to look at these things and build an efficient land administration processes that also help rural communities. Even the communities where the people are coming to acquire those land business can also attract some help of the program. But the key thing here is that we need to move on from the usual way things are being done and keep on innovating, but we must have. It's plenty that will give us a different part of the world. Thank you. That was it. That was it. Thanks. This is a better I have a chat that I can my profession. We've discussed about uh, the exporting something like the vegetables. How long does it take to register a cooperative society? And also, what are the requirements to register a cooperative society? So that when I get back to my people, I will be able to talk to them. Thank you. Yeah. It doesn't take long, but I think I would want the... Okay, who has the answer here? I know it doesn't take long. You can register a cooperative society in 48 hours. Yes. Even if for 24 hours, if you have all the members, the list of members. I know the other time, and the, there is a 
there is a ministry, is it ministry of? Yes, yes. There, there is, there is. Okay, somebody wants to give us the answer. Some, an extra. Well yes. I am the Board of Senior I'm the President of Other State Investment Facilitator Cooperative Limited. If you want to get the certificate of cooperative, you can get it in two days at least. If you want to get it now. Since uh, our government came in, they are working very well. So what to, if you think, do the next to today, what do you get this? Have I understood this? Now what they mean, what the next point is that um, you people must be at least 10, 10 persons. You have them. Are you getting me, sir? When you have them, you pay them. Even now, before it's uh, 25,000, now they have even stepped up to 15,000 naira now. Are you getting me, sir? That is what you need there. Maybe you are them. You never be cooperative. What you are in, if you are into cluster of uh, land or this, that, or cassava, you put their, you put their name there. That's what they think is what they put You put there. If it's only family, you put there. That's the only requirement. Thank you. Yeah, more to that, please. More to Thank that, you, More to that, sir. Okay, more, more to that. that. You have 10 persons to present as members. Not that there will be more, there will be more than 10 persons. Yes, yes. yes. Among yes. that people, you pick four executives. One, the president. The vice president, the secretary, and the treasurer. The rest of you, honorable member, the many six persons. You now need them to register. Because that's what we are now doing. We have the standard constitution. Sorry? The standard constitution. And yeah, because of the dominant interest in people to participate, I think there's a little waiver on constitution. Yes, yes. Let me come up. My name is Comrade Kudebe, the Deputy Chairman of One of the Chairman to the other of the Chairman. We want to raise a cooperative in our association. When you raise a cooperative, you have to have to with us and be able to work with you. If you're a farmer, we are good to go. What do you need to raise a cooperative? You need the area of oppression. It's very important. The name of your corporate and we not obtain members of the corporate. And any fee is agreeable to do this. So I say 15,000, it's 25,000 naira as of now. As I'm speaking now, it's 25,000 naira. You get it two to three days. You are taking it. But if you want to go to, if you want to get it, Really, they, you want us, you want them to come and get you, they are member of our cooperative. It will take you three months. God is provided to come to your locality and train your people. Teach them how to work together, how to cooperate together, and make sure the cooperative is functional. Why our cooperative is not functional is that you wake up one morning, feed ten days, Go to that place and inside. At the end of the day, your, your intention and my intention cannot be the same thing. Your commodity and my, commodity, my interest of commodity will not be the same thing. So we are free to everybody who wants to raise a cooperative to get a cluster. If any commodity of your choice, people will agree in that choice. If you want to go to Papa, you want to go to Oye Park, you want to go to anything, the let, let all of you agree to make sure that we can be able to move those things. About the directors, I think three, minimum of three directors should be there. So when you get all these things, I think they are going to go. When the bylaw, the, the cooperative will give you the, the, the cooperative bylaw. We give you the cooperative certificate. We give you the cooperative, uh, what do you call it? And that law that assigns you to become a member of the cooperative. So that is all you need to get from them. And the seeds, 
In comparison to getting the seed for you, you have to pay for it. Because you have two types of seed in comparison. You have iron seed and the rubber seed. So when you raise it, you get the cooperative, you come back and I play with your commas of special. Thank you. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, my name is uh, Israel Hines. This is uh, a friend of Chile, where the chairman is working on advisory council. We are talking of ease of doing business and the land uh, person is telling us six months, which means he's not considering what we are discussing today. I was thinking that he should have been able to tell us how we can afford this ease of doing business in getting our land matter settled or done with. The Judiciary Act said so many things. I think I agree with that. But again, I am thinking that the land is the area that we are having a very big problem. I think the governor is not the issue. If all the other partners have scrutinized all the documents, the governor should be able to sign, even without having a second thought in going to that. But that does not mean he's not going to look at it. And apart from that, what we are saying here, I hope there is a way it's going to be communicated to the government so that he will know our fears and our doubts, so that he will not have a good thinking. And we are here jeopardizing his good thoughts. I don't think it will help us. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, at this point, I would like to ask a question. What timeline would you consider, you know, reasonable? Of the other side, not just reasonable, reasonable, you know, because you know some people come from some partners, some people might come from Ogodoyo to come and set up a factory. If they are going to be around for six months trying to get land papers. Uh, you go yeah. So, um, I am thinking that three months is more than enough. And if you have your documents, your survey plan, and every other thing, I don't see the reason why the bureaucracy in the land it shouldn't be there. But sometimes you get to the lands. And you have this problem of the man is not there in the office and the, you move from the messenger to the supervisor and all that, unnecessary to be over that. It's not going to help us. But if you can see the man that is in charge of signing this document, you should be able to discuss with him and once your document is properly in order, you should be able to sign it. So two, three months should be very, very okay. Okay, and um, okay, yes, please. Where we want is uh, making the investment uh, your go express, like the one stop shop. Yes. Okay. Just express one point. The one of the things the one stop shop. And so if you pay, if you pay a little extra, you could have it. Maybe we need a month. One stop shop. I'm in addition. Okay. There's something the judicial person said with regards to uh, getting uh, something done in a space of uh, 24 hours. What am I trying like to say? If all your papers are ready from survey plan, to or what not. There should be a digital means of getting this document ready in less than 48 hours. If all your papers are correct, there should be a system in place because in a digital world, you will find in all these things, make your payment online, get your 
and document in less than 48 hours, which will be possible. That's my addition. Thank you. And maybe we could sign the data. You know, uh -huh. you know our Nigerian loans are signed, right? But you know that the CBI chairman does not seem to sign all the Nigerian loans. But it's his signature, right? Uh -huh. So we should. Uh, all right, we speak to me. Okay. Good afternoon. My name is Prince Abude, the National Chairman of Jimmy High Income Association of Nigeria. Um, yeah, all will be from the agro sector, all the nine is going up. You may fall in the land, minister, sorry, um, land, boundary matters, boundary issues, boundary commission, they should come to us because most businesses. Uh, in those boundary areas, we cannot handle them. Because what we said here, like my agent from Abiyama said, problem, why we want to do this is that we want to ease business. So, the area of the boundary problems we are having is very, uh, is too much. So, I want government to uh, see what they can do about that. Then, the area of uh, security. When you go to some of these places like Nadia Mont, every pool you have security officer operating, police, disturbing people who are carrying, my farmers who are carrying farm produce to various places. It's terrible. If you want to reduce cost of all these things, those things should be too simple. Thank you. Okay. So, the boundary matter is a judicial issue. Let me, let me, how um, um, matters uh, under the portfolio of the uh, His Excellency Deputy Governor. He is in charge of his owner in charge of the boundary. So it's like a conflict. Uh, uh, they are the ones who go with his fellow, depends on, you mean it, is it interstate boundaries? Interstate boundaries, isn't that so? Yes. So yes. Yes. Each state has its own boundary commission, you know, headed by the office of the deputy governor. So it will be with his counterparts and their aides. They are the ones that come to look at all that, at the boundary demarcation of the so, so, and incidentally, the, the deputy governor, the office of the deputy governor, is the chairman of ease of doing business council. So, if such issues are brought to his knowledge, even on the council, he knows that he is in charge. That's what I'm saying. It should be brought to his notice. It should be brought to his notice through the appropriate channels. I don't know the channels, but I know he's in charge. And he's also in charge of his own business. So it is in his you know, interest. He will follow it up very, very urgently. That's what I think. Looking at peer review mechanisms, right? Some of the states that have done very, so he's a take home, very good reforms in land in, in getting of C of O. The governor assigns another officer. You understand? He might say okay the deputy governor could sign, he could say commissioner, but he assigned someone else. You understand? Get if there is a seal, someone else, the governor will still be getting information, but that person is given power. You know, maybe is it power of attorney or what is the what, what kind of power do you call that? The judicial. What kind of power is that? Is it just authority? So if the, so the governor delegates in some states where they are getting it, they are, they are, I mean, C of O should must be signed by God. Yes. No, no, you must not be signed by God. The governor can then can give authority. 
David Legger. No, we'll, we'll, we'll check, but we know that. David Legger has the management. Please. 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 By the law, he is the one supposed to sign. Yes. Those so states that have done some of those reforms did something. I understand also that did so they something. Took the law. They did some, you know, maybe they did something either with their houses of assembly or whatever to be able to authorize him to even delegate. No, I understand at the meetings that we've had that even the land, that issue in Arabia is being discussed already. They want to do something about it that, you know, he has to get full advice from his uh, Honorable the Attorney General on what, you know, how to do it, and then he will get to do it. So maybe once they are through it with them by themselves and their Attorney General and all that, they will go, they know what to do. But they, he can't just wake up. No, and, sure, sure. and give it to someone else. No, 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 no. no it, it's, but it's clear that we've seen that that's one, apart from any other thing, that that's one area where there could be a delay. I understand they're working on it. Okay, that's fine. That's the best fine. of my own. Let the pastor go on that. Yes. Okay. Let the pastor go on that. Okay. So that's fine. Okay. Hello, this is the major factor. Okay. Hello. We all know that loan is a major factor in business, and land plays a key role in facilitating loan, especially land that is not encumbered and duly registered. Now, before a land is said to be usable for business, it must have sure or no. Now, I want to know, is there any timeline with the current uh, update of uh, this business? Is being uh, processing C of O, has it timeline now? That is to say, if I say I want to process my land to have a C of O for business, will I time myself? That's okay. so. Uh, I will ask that it, it depends. If your documents are okay, within six months you are supposed to get the seal. Within six months you are supposed to get the seal. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah. I said if your documents are okay, in fact, within six months you are supposed to get the seal. What are the documents? Well, one of the challenges people have is uh, you look at the, the survey plan. The survey plan. If your survey, survey plan is not okay or good, like some people will come around uh, with their power of atom drugs. When it gets to the point where the survey general goes through your survey plan, find out that maybe it was even forged. You know, yes, survey plans are forged. So you find that the beacon numbers are not for the registered surveyor that stamped it. So you will be called back. So that one will also take time too. Okay. Okay. When your power of attorney is due, if it's confirmed, if it's if uh, it goes for confirmation. If it's confirmed that it's fake, it's fake. That means the property is not yours. So these are some of the factors that we we'll also consider and that will also make your sea of food get the lead. So if everything is in order, but it's mainly for criminal matters. I know they have talked about security. They said for the past uh, 42 days, that's six weeks, we have not had violent crimes. Because where there are violent crimes, no business can thrive. People feel insecure and they don't want to invest. But at least 
now that the tempo has come down from this operation crush, I know businesses will want to invest, but just in case there is any such thing, you want to be able to get, make, you know, get access to the courts and you know, get justice quickly, easily, without much uh, ado. Thank God our MDA chairman is here. <laughs> Then we also have online dispute resolution. Using any of the internet or online applications, we have hearings, you can do them. Zoom, you can use Zoom for convenience and quick resolution of especially commercial disputes. This one is going on in the Abia Multidor Court. You know, we have the Abia Multidor Court where you can do um, alternative dispute resolution. You don't need to go to the formal courts, you come there, you have a discussion. It's almost like this round table. So by the time you people finish and you are settled or the settlement is done, you both people, the businesses, both sides, they live as friends. They are not adversaries. Like you have in the court system, when one person wins and the other person feels are so aggrieved, they can never speak. But that is not so for that. So we have we have a uh, multi door court. We have amended in 2021, we amended the, 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 our High Court Civil Procedure Rules was amended with effect on 7th October 2021. The highlights that affect business and commercial environment include screening of all these civil disputes, especially commercial cases, for eight years. So if you file your matter and they screen it and they see you, it's better that you people have a discussion and use alternative ways of uh, uh, settling your disputes, they will send you to that multi door court. Or the shortening of time for trial and resolution of cases through pre-trial proceedings. Sometimes it's just a misunderstanding. At the pre-trial process where you just come and you are discussing with the judge, you set out your issues in controversy, you will find out that maybe it's just one little thing that is a controversy, that is settled there, and you can go even from the pre-trial without going to full trial. There's also a, a shortening, there's also fast-track provisions whose main objective is to reduce the time spent on litigation to a period not exceeding nine months from commencement of action until final judgment of the case. We have also liquidated money claims or counterclaims in a sum not less than 25 million Naira, those things are fast tracked because you, you go, just go there mainly on affidavits. You know, you just bring your receipts or the, you, like if it's money had and received, you have paid for services, he has not delivered. That is very easy. You bring, the, you sweat the affidavit and do all that. The court looks at this. If there's no counter, they give judgments in your favor and then you go for execution. Then we have also, if the claim involves a mortgage transaction or or charge or other securities or the claimant is suing for a liquidated money claim and is not a Nigerian national or resident, such facts are disclosed in the pleadings. Those things are done fast track. Then we also have eviction cases, landlord and tenant claims which are in excess of jurisdiction of the magistrates. They are done in the fast track by the fast track procedure of the High Court. So we also have now by the practice directions of the Honorable the Chief Judge then, all civil matters, especially commercial cases, must not exceed 24 months from commencement to judgment. Instead of, you know there are some large cases that last up to 30 years? Yes. But I want to tell you that when we did the settlement week, when the alternative dispute resolution, uh, the multi door court started, and we had the settlement week, there was a matter, a, a, a boat, it was both chief tenancy dispute, and ground matter, everything put together that had been on for seven years. Within three hours, they had settled and they never came back. You know, so this is what I have. So we have all those kind of things. So with this one man, this practice direction that has told, that has made it a, 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 almost a, a rule, a direction to judges and uh, to high court judges to make sure that their civil matters do not exceed 24 months. So such matters will not last this decade, from father to son and all that. Then we have increased use of this Abia Multidor Court. 
before when we started, when we when the Abias uh, multi dog court started, and uh, we went to the markets, went to the um, um, the trade, the market unions, at least no one here in our bank, in all the places we had jingles and all that to sensitize them. And they have been coming there at first. You know how people are. When a matter ends very quickly, they think it means you didn't do any work. Maybe a lawyer might not be happy. Or the litigant might feel, I don't want to pay. Because after all, it took you only uh, one, one sitting and two hours to finish it. But now they all realize that you still charge your normal fee. But the only thing is that the matter ends quickly and you can go and do some other business. Time is money, we say. Then we also have all these ad hoc courts that help. We had, uh, I don't know, Ministry of Transport is not here. All this blocking of roads and all that. We have those mobile courts that try them immediately and make sure that they clear. Even rubbish, you remember, just a few uh, months ago, how refuse and rubbish used to be all over the state and all that. And now that uh, the, the, the the sanitation courts were supposed to make sure that those things are there. You can't come to a city that is so dead. I don't know anybody that has traveled out of this country and gone to such places like uh, even the UK or even, let me just say, Israel. If you have come there, if your whole place is full of flowers along the streets and everything, everywhere is beautiful. If you come to a place and it's always dirty and everywhere, you wouldn't want to do your business there. Isn't that so? So, you also have to take care of that and all that, stop all that. So, but the main, we also have the installation of port management software. We have online academics, I'm sure many of you know that. So that when you want to register your business or you have any reason, international passport, anything you want to swear, you can do it from your home. All you need to do is use the online uh, academics system, and it's 1,000 naira. It is not expensive. Don't go and get a what one. I hope you know that. Are we aware of the online affidavit yes. by the judiciary? Good. All this was done to facilitate and to make sure the ease of doing business in other states. Now, now that the main issue that borders with anybody that has been following ease of doing business from an octopedic the Presidential Enabling Business uh, Council that powers ease of doing business and EBS. Their focus for the judiciary is the small claims court. The small claims court, which we are going to talk about when we are going to do the presentation, formal presentation on, on that, which is for tomorrow, I saw, unless she wants it done now. Now, we, Abia has not done it, has not yet done its own a small claims court that is has not become operational, but everything that is needed for it has been put in place. Starting with, first of all, you know, the, the small claims court is supposed to deal with small, small claims, liquidated claims, claims that are not uh, over controversial or anything below uh, or five million and below, and is supposed to finish within 60 days. Now, and the jurisdiction of magistrates has been increased just recently by the executive governor of Abit State, um, uh, Dr. Alex Choma, who took effect just the other day, um, in, in July, 24th of July. So that is preparatory for the small claims court to increase their jurisdiction of all magistrates. Then, apart from that, the, the honorable decision our new CJ, who, uh, Honorable Justice Lillian Abai, and uh, will soon uh, put in effect the practice direction. Immediately after the practice directions are signed by her, then the training of magistrates for that and staff for that will commence. To do that also, and you know, the highlights of it that we do is of doing business is that there is no adjournment in that court. It is from day to day we sit. Only one adjournment is allowed per party till the conclusion of a case, which must from filing to judgment and execution, not more than 60 days. So very soon you will have it. And by the time all that is done, we will also be 
having this kind of round table uh, discussion, we are going to go to the, uh, the chambers of commerce. Everyone, the market unions, everybody that has something to do with business will be involved in that small thing spot and have access to it. So that, those are the reforms that are ongoing. And we are, I'm sure before the end of the year, this small claim spot of the Abia State Judiciary for Abia State will come on stream. Even the judici Judicial Committee that is powering the operations of it has already been inaugurated with the Honorable Justice uh, Chinwen Onyan of the Abia State High Court as the chairman. It has other members, Honorable Justice uh, Chido Wakama, our chief registrar, even myself, I'm the secretary of that uh, committee for the uh, um, small claims court. And also, there's another um, this, this year who is also a chief magistrate who is part of that. So, the reforms for the ease of doing business, we are very, 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 very optimistic that we will not be number 32 after this. <laughs> we will not be, as I say, cannot be resolved this innovation in the land and then finally with the small claims court and the reforms in the judiciary, we must, we must confess five. Highest. <laughs> Thank you very much for listening.